Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Berka and I'm a technical business developer at Amazon Web Services. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the advanced security features offered by Amazon Cognito. We will begin by introducing what ASF is and how it improves the security posture of your applications. We will then explore the different features of Cognito's ASF and also go over some key things to consider. And to conclude, we will showcase a live demo that highlights how to enable and configure the advanced security features. Let's begin with an overview. Cognito's advanced security features are an additional layer of security capabilities designed to enhance the protection of user identities and data within applications. ASF works in conjunction with Cognito user pools. Both Cognito user pools and Cognito's advanced security features are integral parts of the broader Cognito spectrum. Cognito as a whole is a developer-centric and cost-effective solution for developers to manage customer identities, authentication, and authorization securely. So now I'm wondering, what are these advanced security features? Well, Cognito's ASF comprises of three key features. Compromised credentials, adaptive authentication, and event logging. Let's first take a look at compromised credentials. With the real time credential validation, Cognito cross references user credentials against a managed database of compromised, weak, and common passwords. By doing so, it enhances security through error prevention, ensuring that any detected compromised credentials are promptly blocked, preventing their use within your application. Next, let's turn our attention to adaptive authentication. This feature provides advanced risk-based authentication, allowing you to share the level of risk associated with each signing attempt. You can also selectively challenge users with MFA or block signing attempts, and additionally, recorded feedback from each authentication attempt is used for continual learning and enhanced security. Finally, we come to event logging. Cognito logs crucial information pertaining to verification, sign-in, sign-up, and password change events. This event logging capability provides valuable insights for security analysis, allowing you to track and monitor user activity within your application. By leveraging APIs, you can easily retrieve and analyze these event logs, allowing you to respond to any suspicious activities swiftly. Now that we reviewed the key features, let's go over some key things to consider when implementing Cognito's ASF. The first thing is that it is essential to note that ASF is enabled on the user pool level, which means we can customize the security settings to suit our specific requirements. Along with being enabled at the user pool level, Cognito's advanced security features offers the capability to customize security settings at a more granular level, specifically at the app client level. It is also important to remember that ASF is available for native Cognito users only and is not supported for federated users. And lastly, it is important to note that ASF cannot be used with custom authentication flows. Now that you've been briefed on Cognito's ASF, let us make our way over to the management console so I can show you how to enable and configure these advanced security features. The first thing we want to do is navigate to the AWS management console and search for Cognito. Then select Cognito from the drop-down menu to open the console. Now that we are in the Amazon Cognito console, we want to select the user pool we're going to be working with. Once you've selected your user pool, I just want to quickly brief you on our prerequisite before being able to actually use one of the advanced security features. To do this, we're going to go ahead onto the Sign In Experience tab. Once we're there, we want to go ahead and scroll down to the MFA section. Select Edit, and then Enable MFA is optional. The reason we need to do this is so that your individual users can choose to configure second factors of authentication which are needed for adaptive authentication. As you can also see, we have a few options of methods for MFA. We have Authenticator Apps and SMS Message. Both options are viable ways for MFA, but for this demo, we will be selecting Authenticator apps so that our users can authenticate with a one-time password from apps such as Authy or Google Authenticator. Now that we've done that, we can scroll down and select Save Changes. Now that we've completed our prerequisite, we can begin the integration of the advanced security features. The first thing we want to do is go over and select App Integration. Once we've selected App Integration, we want to scroll down until we get to the advanced security section. Once we are there, we want to select Enable. Now that we are in the advanced security section, I wanted to again quickly brief you on a key factor of enabling ASF. As you can see as listed above, ASF is an optional add-on to Amazon Cognitive User Pools and has its own separate cost. The pricing for ASF is based on monthly active users that use your application and trigger ASF evaluations. Now that you've been briefed on pricing, let's begin configuring. We are initially given two options, audit only and full function. By selecting audit only, Cognitive's advanced security features are enabled for auditing purposes only. This means that the advanced security features will monitor and log suspicious activities, but will not take any automated actions to mitigate potential threats. On the other hand, selecting full function enables the advanced security features of Cognito to take automated actions in response to potential security threats. It is highly recommended to keep advanced security features in audit mode for at least two weeks before enabling actions. The point of audit mode is to evaluate and train ASF based on your real traffic. Audit mode publishes metrics to CloudWatch, but it also starts generating the user level logs that contain risk evaluations. This allows you to see how much of your traffic is risky and also allows you to drill down into individual user activity to see whether the risk evaluations accord with your independent evaluations. So if you've selected audit only, you can now scroll down and select save changes. If you've selected full function, I will explain in further detail what this entails. Now, if you selected a full function, 
As you can see, if we scroll down, we can see compromised credentials and adaptive authentication. Let's first take a look at the compromised credentials section. As we can see in this section, we have two options, Cognito defaults or custom. The Cognito defaults option utilizes the default and recommended behavior for checking compromised credentials. Amazon Cognito applies its built-in algorithms and analysis to detect suspicious activity. On the other hand, the custom option allows you to define your own customized detection behavior. With this option, you can configure rules and logic that align with your specific application requirements. Compromised credentials can come into play in a number of scenarios. For example, if an attacker gains unauthorized access to a user's login credentials through a data breach on another platform, they could potentially exploit those compromised credentials to gain entry to your application. This situation poses a significant risk to sensitive user data. However, by implementing compromised credentials, you can address this at the user account level, protecting your user's sensitive data and information. With that being said, it is important to note that ASAP's compromised credentials feature is not used to detect or prevent the application itself from being compromised, but rather only the individual user's account. For the sake of this demonstration, we will be selecting Cognito defaults. This way, we can take advantage of the proven security measures already in place within Amazon Cognito. Now we can move down to the adaptive authentication section. For this section, we are again given two choices, Cognito defaults or custom. The Cognito defaults option utilizes the recommended adaptive authentication classifications provided by Amazon Cognito. It offers predefined risk levels and corresponding actions. With this option, Cognito automatically responds to each level of risk when it detects a potential malicious activity and completely blocks all sign-in attempts. On the other hand, the custom option allows you to customize the detection behavior and define your own risk levels and actions. With this option, you can tailor the adaptive authentication process based on your specific application requirements. Adaptive authentication comes into play when you want to enhance the security of your application by dynamically adjusting the authentication process based on the perceived level of risk associated with each sign-in attempt. For example, if you have a platform with various users and user roles, as the number of users on your platform grows, you become increasingly concerned about potential security risks and unauthorized access to sensitive customer data. Here's where adaptive authentication comes into play. You can tailor the authentication process to suit the unique needs of your application to best fit your security requirements. For the sake of this demonstration, we will be selecting custom and I'll explain to you what each risk level entails. For low risk attempts, we can select allow sign-in. What this could mean is say for example, if the system determines that the sign-in attempt is low risk, for example, maybe the user is signing in from a known device or familiar location, you could allow the sign-in without any additional factors. For medium risk attempts, we can select require MFA. What this means is for a medium risk sign-in attempt, for example, from a new device or after slightly unusual activity, you might want to either strongly encourage or require the user to go through multi-factor authentication to verify their identity. And for high-risk attempts, we can select require MFA or block sign-in. What this means is for high-risk sign-in attempts, for example, from an unfamiliar location or after many failed sign-in attempts, this would be classified as a serious concern and high risk. In this case, you might want to require MFA to ensure the user is legitimate. If the risk is very high, you could also choose to block the sign-in attempt completely and notify the user. Now that we reviewed the adaptive authentication section, I now want to bring you out of this section so you can see what configuring these features looks from the perspective of user event history. To view user event history, we want to come back out to our console and select the user section. Once we are there, we want to scroll down and select the user we want to view the history for. As you can see, when you choose an individual user, you can see information about various user events such as the date and time, the event type, the risk detected, and location. The event history also includes the risk level that indicates the low, medium, or high ratings described earlier, and the risk decision that indicates if a risk was detected and what type of risk. In the example of this user history, we can see that for the most recent sign-in attempt, it shows a past result and no risk detection. We can also see that no risk level is displayed. This is because it is a no risk decision. Cognito only assigns a risk level if there is some level of risk. However, in this other user history example, as you can see, we have an entry from January 18, 2018 at 9.21 p.m. This entry represents a sign-in attempt made by a user. This attempt resulted in a failed status, indicating that the sign-in was unsuccessful. However, the interesting part here is that the system detected a high risk associated with this event, specifically an account takeover risk. This means that there was a possibility of unauthorized access to the account, which is flagged as a serious concern. Despite the sign-in failure, the password validation itself was successful as indicated by password success. This suggests that the user provided the correct password during the attempt. However, Due to the high-risk nature of the event, the system intervened and blocked the sign-in to protect the account from any potential compromise. This event highlights the power of Cognito's advanced security features. The system analyzes user activities and applies advanced risk-based authentication to protect the user against a potential threat. Now that we've gone over user history, 
let us navigate back to our advanced security features to continue exploring the remaining features. Now to continue with our advanced security features, we can also configure IP address exception for adaptive authentication. This feature allows you to define specific IP addresses or ranges that will bypass the detection of adaptive authentication. As we see here, we are given two options. We have the always allow IP address list and the always block IP address list. Both options allow you to add address ranges inside our format to create a list of addresses that will always be allowed or blocked from signing in. A common use case for this feature is when an organization wants to grant seamless access to their internal applications for employees. By adding the company's IP address range to the always allow list, employees connecting from within the organization's network can bypass the adaptive authentication process. This creates a frictionless signing experience for trusted users. On the other hand, IP address exceptions can also be valuable in preventing unauthorized access from non malicious sources. Organizations can identify suspicious IP addresses associated with previous security incidents or attacks and add them to the always block list. By doing so, the system will automatically block any sign in attempt from these risky IP addresses, significantly reducing the likelihood of unauthorized access to potential data breaches. Now that we've made those selections, we can scroll down and select Save Changes. In this video, I have showcased the powerful advanced security features of Amazon Cognito and how they can bolster the security and protection of your applications. Throughout the demonstration, I highlighted the steps to enable ASF in Amazon Cognito, including configuring compromised credentials and adaptive authentication. By leveraging these features, you can proactively detect and respond to potential security threats, ensuring the safety of your users and their data. But now it's your turn. I encourage you to enable Cognito's ASF in your own AWS accounts to enhance the security of your applications and protect user identities and data. Explore more workshops, tutorials, and resources provided by AWS to further understand and implement ASF effectively. And if you're eager to enhance the security posture of your applications and provide a seamless user experience, I invite you to click on the link to explore Amazon Cognito's advanced security features further. Thank you.